Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald?
It's popcorn time! Hey everyone, <laughs> how's it going today? Hope you're all doing well. We're almost up on American Thanksgiving, which doesn't mean a lot to me. Honestly, the most often thing American Thanksgiving ends up meaning to me is, oh, this is a day where I don't get to eat. Also, why has my slideshow not been looping lately? It's just been showing this picture whenever it comes up permanently. Hmm. I wonder why it keeps doing that. It's supposed to permanently play. Anyway, Thanksgiving is coming up. For that reason, there's no collabs this week. Uh, no Evermore, no Invisible War. You'll be seeing the resumption of those next week. And similarly, I probably won't be streaming for a couple days. I'll give some room around Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is not a good day for attention to streams. It's... I am one of those people who believes the world shouldn't resolve, revolve entirely around one country, but also I acknowledge that a majority of my viewers are American, and many of them celebrate these holidays. You know, it is what it is, right? Man, what the heck? A bunch of programs have been forgetting my references today. Hold on, I'm just looking at something. Anyway, today is the Sonic Marathon, 
I know that there have been... There's been a gap because I had to skip. Thank you, no credit clear. <laughs> Thanksgiving snack fund. There's been a gap of, you know, like one month or whatever because of other stuff getting in the way. We know how it goes in October. Things get overcome by Halloween and Castlevania and dot level. <laughs> that sounds so mean-spirited when I put it that way. Even though Dot is a good friend of mine. Who I care about and wish to spoil. But, uh, you know, October was way too busy, so we didn't get to have the Sonic Marathon. Recently I've been playing the Resident Evil 2 Remake. That was the last stream. Um, we had a blue screen at the end of the screen stream, and... It was, it was so inconvenient because I was planning on ending soon anyway, so I didn't even roll credits or anything. I just gave up and I'm like, okay, we're raiding. Like, okay, go watch Roxandra. <laughs> That's what happened. We'll be resuming Resident Evil 2 Remake uh, either on the weekend or early next week. After, you know, after the Thanksgiving holiday is nice and past. I'm looking forward to resuming my collabs, though. Cher and I are in the last world of Evermore. Some people have been saying they think it'll take two more streams. I think it'll take one. We'll see. <laughs> of course, it does always depend on how much time everyone has, right? Sometimes, sometimes they can't do... A stream that goes all the way to like 6 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I would absolutely not rage quit. If I ever rage quit anything, it would be as a joke. Hello, Nanoda. So. <sighs> I feel like I'm going to be a little rusty. I haven't been playing Sonic lately. But then again, I play it so often, I won't be that rusty, right? I wouldn't be shocked if we end up having to start Sonic 1 over after I die in some really stupid way, but... That happens sometimes. That happens. Um... So, what else do I have to say? You are worth it. <laughs> okay, let's 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 just move over to the Sonic. As much as I like the Afterburner theme. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. None of the Nairathon games have Doom Surf. That's true. Doom Surf is fantastic. Wow, oh, I had to turn the volume down. Sonic Forever was actually louder than I thought it would be. <laughs> I wonder if this will work. Yeah, it'll work. I had to test if the splitter was working. Because I haven't used it in so long. Over a month is so long. I'm not looking. Are the splits on screen? They should be. <laughs> Oops. I ended up behind the rock. He's in so many movies where he wears, like, a brown safari jacket. basically just use cosmetic mods that 
make the run a little less monotonous, but if you're curious about them, you can press exclamation point Sonic at Ajax. <laughs> Play Sonic Labyrinth? Oh no! I think one of my old friends is trying to trying to commit a terrorist act by by trying to make me play Sonic Labyrinth. Oops, gotta skip that. Five Sonics? That's a lot of Sonics. Even Generations only has two Sonics. What the? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, fine. I'm just skipping it. To have five Sonic drive-ins in town. Sonic, please, you can do better than this. Come on. There we go. Whoa. He's about to jump. I jump there reflexively, but I think it's actually worse to jump there. Oops, I only got two hits instead of three. There we go. Perfect start. They can't all be the fastest runs alive. Marble Zone. Everybody likes Marble Zone, right? I choose to believe that everybody likes Marble Zone. Sonic just got set on fire. Careful, careful, ah! Even the aliens, yes. Especially the aliens. Hey, Gilson. I feel like I'm a little rusty, that's how it's going. Mia Zero. The caption's called Grilson Anderson today. That's that's a new one. <laughs> I'm sure I've never seen that one before. where it starts to get a little complicated, right? Oh. Fine. Damage boosting through it is. You see me decelerate there? If I go too fast, I have a tendency to end up in those spikes. This is the boring part. You have to wait for this. Ow. 
Because this thing gets you as high as you need to be in this section. There's probably a better way, but... This is the one you hear in your head now. <laughs> I see. Understandable. Look, I'm staying in character, okay? I'm playing Sonic the Hedgehog in this role-playing game. <laughs> Do you want to kill me? <laughs> They immediately start talking about Sonic Chronicles in chat. <laughs> it sounds like Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis, oh boy. That sure is a game somebody made. Oh, I died. Gameplay, huh? I don't know, personally, I have uh, one working ear, and that's still enough to know that uh, it's more than the gameplay. <laughs> they start naming the devs? Oh man. Bugged. You know what? You know what? I've decided I want to start the run over. That was bad. I can do better. I'm warmed up. Activate the volcanic defense system to shield the base with my lava magma. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. You gotta delete your save data because you, you didn't quite do it right. Goodness willing, this will be the only only do over today. <laughs> yeah, the lava magma. You can't just have one or the other, you gotta have the mix. That's what you do. <laughs> you prefer magma lava? But, but where do you get magma lava? Where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? You can't just go to the magma lava store. That's shut down. It's a spirit Halloween now. Oh, that was nice. 
Okay. That was pretty funny. That's way more like it. You know if YouTube Studio added an official support for Twitch reward toggles, but it doesn't support palettes? So I still gotta use the method I've been using? <laughs> cause, cause Denchi just didn't account for that use case. missed it by like a frame. Where are you going, Baxter? Whoa, 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 whoa. I was sure I didn't make that jump. I was sure I went into the lava magma. Hey, Zelnu. <laughs> that emote. Boost it is. Occasionally I can make that jump more safely. But I think damage boosting may just be faster. Sonic 1 is always the riskiest run in this because of the spike bug. Like, there just ain't much you can do if you get spike bugged. <laughs> Which part of this run do you guys look forward to the most each time? That's a weird question to ask. Oops. I jumped right into it.
<laughs> we often do have very funny glitches during the monthly, don't we? Though, you know, I don't think anything will ever top some of the glitches we've had during the Knuckles runs, right? I don't know what it is. Knuckles just brings out the worst in these games, as far as glitches are concerned. Or the best, if you look at it differently. Get spike bucked. Oh. Oh no. I missed it. His name is Knuckles. He's hard as Knuckles. He breaks them down whether they're Knuckles or Knuckles. sound that gets made when you do that mix? Man, I don't know. I've never thought about that sound. I mostly think about the sonic oxygen sound. But you got low. I've always pronounced this Papa. But I've never really thought about the defeating Badnik sound much. Oops, I missed. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Papa? It's not quite right. It's almost right. I should have just damage boosted that, it takes so long. I was pretty sure that would work, but I wasn't completely sure. Okay. Sonic, you weren't spinning. You were supposed to spin. Ah. Thank you for subscribing, Baydog. 31 months. It basically is a Sonic clone. It's like an unspoken Sonic clone. It doesn't look like Sonic except when it's rolling, but it's clearly made to imitate his powers.
Uh oh. Man, why am I doing this? This is slow. This is slower than taking the screen. Oh well. here, no. <laughs> I had a feeling that would happen. It was it was up to luck. Lives Matter crowd all about saving blue lives until they see a hedgehog run by. had enough acceleration for that. Poor guy. I'll do my best. Here we are. We made it. We made it, gamers. out of the water. Besides, doing that is a bad idea. Hmm. 
There we go. That's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like being nagged to do your homework. Know what I mean? Ah, Sonic, you're not supposed to unroll at a time like that. Don't forget to breeze! Thank you, Breezy Bear. The mascot of breathing. If that was unclear. Risk, slow down. There we go. Uh, grab it. I may as well breathe. After all, why not? Why shouldn't I breathe? down, but he didn't roll. Sonic never does what I tell him to. Unlike Shadow the Hedgehog. Who is just a delight to control now. If you didn't know. Climb up the slow way. I just missed. Some situation where Sonic got enrolled into the army, like like he's just in tons of situations like Bugs Bunny or something, he would absolutely get court-martialed. I don't even know what over. Possibly multiple things. Like, tell me you can't see Sonic getting court-martialed. Office of trying to catch up to Sonic. <laughs> yeah. He has his work cut out for him. Yeah. 
Uh oh. If you hit that, you're usually gonna drown. You need as much air as you can get for this. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. You all ready? You ready? 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 Check. Ready? Check. Ready? Ready? The hard way. Okay, um... Okay, I'm a gamer. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, I missed the spring. Guess we're going this weird route. Man, I don't know this route. Where are we? Sonic, where the hell are we? Emerald. Oh boy, here's the part I don't like. This is straight up one of the worst parts of the entire run for me. Not even exaggerating. This particular seesaw. Five gamer dollars. Ah, 
love! We're past the worst part of the game. Hooray. Just missed. He's like, come on, I just put that there. Sometimes I do these, this fight extremely well, and sometimes I do it not well at all. have a bad time here. Okay. Lava you cranny. I hate doing this blind. It's not quite blind, you can see it quite slightly out of the corner of the screen. But like, if you're a legitimate Mega Drive player, you can't, so... I don't even try. So good, Red Blue. How are you? Got through Scrap Brain One without dying. <laughs> Sonic music rolls. And I don't just say this because I was a fan of Michael Jackson so much growing up. But it doesn't hurt. Sorry, I was about to have an aneurysm. It's okay, I know how to treat them from playing Trauma Center.
use the green stuff and your some salt. <laughs> I'm not sure Eggman was trying to build a fortress. It might just be a factory, you know? He makes money doing legitimate business, you know. <laughs> hey, bad vibes. <laughs> I'm being silly, of course, though, but, like, still, it feels like Eggman's stuff serves multiple purposes, while Wily's are clearly just made to be fortresses. Playing Sonic X Shadow, nice. Uh oh. Okay, we're fine. That's not fine. Over there, huh? We are not making record speed in Sonic 1. We're behind. Not for lack of trying, though. Been a deathless run. Yeah, this fight is RNG. It's somewhat affected by where you're standing, though. Somewhat, but like, even then, it's still a 50-50 at best. And I tend to default to the corners because I tend to play it too safe. Instead of taking risks. How are you doing, March? I know I normally call you slunks, but I don't know. See, you gotta do stuff like that. You gotta stand on one of them and then run into the safe space. That's how you do it faster. He's not so random that he's not attacking you. But he might not be in the one that's attacking you. It's as simple as that. back in a sec.
get to play with uh, the blue hedgehog. That's always good, right? I ever fixed the bug with the uh... hmm. oh well ah uh, let's uh let's move on to Sonic CD CD of Sonic Yeah, generally that's true, although Shadow Generations is like the best 3D Sonic game ever made, so like, what the hell? <laughs> no coping there. Sonic Adventure, you really gotta use the Dreamcast conversion mod. Scalabar! <laughs> Sonic if you try, you can do anything. Nothing can survive the ways to stay alive Cause if you try, you can do anything Cillian has an opening song? Nope. Not in all times stones run, but definitely a very fast run is what you're looking at. I always find Sonic CD to be uh, misunderstood. Oh, there's an there's an anime. Okay, fair enough. I had no idea there was a zillion anime.
I mean, how can there be a zillion anime? Isn't there only just like five anime? You know, there's like Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball, Tenchi Muyo. And the Wing. And Outlaw Star. That's that's the five anime that exist, right? <laughs> the funny thing is I don't really like any of those that much aside from like Tenchi and Sailor Moon. <laughs> Exactly, Wesley. Wesley got the joke. <laughs> I don't hate Outlaw Star, it's just not, like... It has an amazing opening. The song. Anyway, it was basically just a big Toonami joke, obviously. My favorite anime end up being stuff like Madoka, Mermaid Melody, and of course, special signature to save a soul grid man. Whoops. Photon was good until the ending? Hmm. I've been meaning to watch Photon. Creepy? Oh dear. Sure. Sure, that's that's not the kind of discussion for here. We both know it. Oh no. Thank goodness for the super peel out, one of the coolest moves Sonic's ever had, and then never had again. <laughs> You'd really think that uh, the peel out would make sense in like a 3D Sonic game, but like, I guess arguably that's just boost, right? I like both soundtracks, but I feel like the Japanese one suits the game better. And the US soundtrack is, uh, U.S. soundtrack is better for listening in a CD player. That's how I feel about it. But I like both. Um. And I would 100% play a racing game called Super Peel Out, though. I would imagine it being, like, somewhere between, um, Power Drift and Super Hang-On. I feel like Super Peel-Out would basically be Super Power Drift. You get me? You know what's weird about these flippers? You you lose your momentum entirely the moment you release the jump button. Oh no! Oh no! Man, talking about my favorite anime, and I didn't even mention Steinsgate. But then again, Steinsgate is just one of the favorites of anybody who watches anime enough to have seen Steinsgate. 
It consistently ends up in top list for a good reason. If you've never seen Steinsgate, you need to watch Steinsgate. Just, uh... Make sure you watch the original Steinsgate first. Do not fall into the trap of seeing the name Steinsgate Zero and thinking, oh, a prequel, I should watch that first. No. You do not watch Steinsgate Zero first. You watch the original first. Zero ruins it. I think that their name was a terrible choice in that regard. Man, the power he possesses is incredible. Darn. I messed up. There we go. Man, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on Game Gear is really rough. There's that part where they make you do several blind jumps in a row, and it's just a nightmare to actually land them. Dan Video Games ended up giving up on the game at that point. My, my dear friend Dan, one of my best friends. I don't blame him. Oops, I missed the jump. Ah, this is gonna cost me. It's sent to the take a long time dimension. Because I have to do this part now. I also think it's funny that Sonic 2 Game Gear has, like, all these scenes of Tails between the levels. Like, they show Sonic and Tails doing stuff, like hang gliding or whatever. But Tails, you never get to play as him. He's, he's not playable in the game. He's not even really featured much at all. It feels more like they tried to make a sequel to Sonic 1 Game Gear. And then we're told later, oh, you have to include this fox. I know that's not what actually happened, but it feels that way, right? Darn. Oh no, it didn't come back. I didn't go far enough. Yeah, the ending where Tails freaking dies. Man, this is a terrible route. I hate this route.
<laughs> How similar? Mostly similar. They ch they updated some of the stage layouts for the Game Gear games. Also, the Master System versions look much worse. Even though they have slightly more screen space and people are always talking, oh, you should play the Master System ones for the screen space, I cannot emphasize enough how much worse the Master System versions look. And they made changes to the stage layouts in the Game Gear versions that are often majorly for the better. Like, Sonic 1 on Master System is an absolutely cruel game that hates you. The Game Gear version is pretty easy. Yeah, people seem to always forget that the Master System had way fewer colors than the Game Gear. Way fewer. Also, a couple of the Master System ones have uh, music that was uh, lifted and uh, got replaced on Game Gear. <laughs> if you're wondering why they changed the music, it's because, oh, we, we may have found a couple songs that we didn't have the rights to actually use. Oops. Who could have known that this would happen? A little too inspired. I will always say, Yuzo Koshiro, one of the people I respect most in terms of musicians, but also lifted music constantly back in the day. <laughs> These two things are not mutually exclusive. Similarly, you know the reason that Sonic Rush's music is not released on, like, iTunes and such? It's because Naganuma did not have the rights to some of the samples he used in his songs. And the rights holders took issue at some point, it seems. Uh, this is Sonic CD Miracle Edition. It is not running in Origins. And welcome, how are you? This hole is so awkward. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I think the Rush soundtrack is great! It's just... <laughs> it's missing for a reason. Yeah, basically, Millennial. Basically. The Origins versions are worse, but they're like... Worse in a way where if you're not a hardcore Sonic fan, it's not going to matter to you. I think that overall, they are perfectly good ports for the most part. And a perfectly reasonable way for people to experience the games, because, you know, it's not like everybody wants to like shop around for the best mods and versions of games, right? I think... Most people just want to boot up a game, and it works, and they play it. And I should know about this, considering my day job is to make games work. <laughs> Basically. Hey, Ed. Yeah, Sonic Origins is the easiest way to just reach in and play. I don't have any, like, external stuff on my Steam Deck, so I just have Origins on my Steam Deck, for example. To play Sonic on Origins when I'm, like, on a trip or something. Although, 
Nowadays I have an analog pocket, so I would probably just play it on that, but... <laughs> you know? Man, I guess I never implemented my mod where uh, some of these boss fights have the US battle theme, huh? Boss theme. Because I'm pretty sure I set this one to be one of them. The Steam Deck is really cool if you don't have, like, a portable PC of some kind already. But it depends entirely on what you, like, do when you're out to begin with, right? I think the Analog Pocket was a really good purchase for me. I see myself using it a ton on trips. Retroid? I can dig it, but like, the thing is, I specifically have gotten really into like FPGA stuff, you know? And Retroid is just software emulation, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. So cool, just not for me. Mr. Frickin' Rolls. I'm so glad that I got a Mr. I think every retro streamer should have a Mr. Yeah, Firehawk was definitely instrumental in me getting my Mr. because he got me the uh, nano board when they were still, like, hard to get. Nowadays they cost more, but the, the availability was really bad at the time. They got to adopt a lot earlier than I otherwise would have. Is their Sonic CD Deathless. If I die in Sonic CD, it's almost always either the last act, you know, Metallic Madness 3, or just some random spot in Wacky Workbench. Oh. You think so? My analog pocket lasts like eight hours. I've been dead for a very long time, bad vibes. Thank you for the follow. to a bee! More of a hornet, I guess. Yeah, that stuff is far away. Although I'm sure at any moment somebody will want to talk about the Mars FPGA and how powerful it is and uh, 
I'll just talk about how dead that project is. I said it would be a bomb. People were really wanting to be cautiously optimistic. You know, if I'm pessimistic about something, I'm usually right, considering I'm generally an optimist, right? Yeah, exactly, Hawk. Exactly. It's unfortunate. No, Analog released their uh, N64 clone, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least put it up for pre-order or something. It's not the Mars, it's uh, their own thing. What was the Analog one called again? The Analog Ultra, I think? Analog 64, huh? But it's foreign. But I'm somewhat used to being incorrect when I say things like this because I have a bad sense of memory to begin with. I think calling it a successor to the Vister is somewhat misleading because it's not the same team, but they were presenting it that way. They were presenting it as, oh, don't buy the Mister, buy our device that's going to be way better. So, like, they were presenting it that way, even though it really wasn't a successor. I feel like eventually the Mister people will create a successor when there's a board that is uh, viable for it. Oh man, so we were both wrong. Oh no, right before the, the part. What the... Okay. Okay, we're here now. At least for for now. Like eventually it'll get affordable. I think. Anyway, the Mister is really cool. And if you have an opportunity to get a Mr. Pie and you like retro gaming, it's highly recommendable. And if you're wondering, the Mr. Pie, it's a clone board, it's almost the same, and the name is dumb because it has nothing to do with Raspberry Pi. But, um... <laughs> you have a Sonic tattoo? Awesome! Anyway, the Mr. Pie is a clone board, although it's not, like, one for one. In some cases, the timing is actually considered to be better than the Mr., but in some cases it's slightly different and worse. The thing is that the differences are things that you would only notice over a scale of, like, days. Like, you're leaving it on for days.
The mister is not that hard to take apart and put back together. I didn't get mine pre-assembled, so I actually had to do that in the first place, and uh... It's not as hard as you would think. They're made really neatly. Like Claire, you might be surprised. Like Roto will Roto could uh vouch for this. With my mister, the problem wasn't uh assembling it or taking it apart. It was just the case, because the allowances on the case were so small. But that doesn't really risk any damage to the mister itself. Oh no. Right, the Mr. Arcade or whatever, right? I've heard about that. Straight into the spike, wow. Uh-oh. Okay, lower route it is. Where the heck are we? Okay. Okay. 
That's fine. We're fine. <laughs> 16 bits, oh boy. But seriously, thank you. What the? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! There's always a risk if you die or time travel as mini Sonic that you will end up back as normal Sonic or otherwise messed up in some way. It's one of those edge case bugs. It's a big maze! For example... Ending up stuck as mini Sonic for this. It's going okay, Shinon. How are you? Super tired. Understandable. Not. Oh no, 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 no. Not. How's it going? How are you? <laughs> this Pawagan Shoop jerk stole your bottle, I see. <laughs> how did. How did your stream go? Seriously, though. Thank you for the follow. It's going okay. How did your stream go? How did, uh... You've got a one night team on a seed with no boots. Ooh! Dang! Good job! Hey, uh, Welcome, everyone. I am Sarah Lene, the magical cat girl. Once a month, I play Sonic 1, CD 2, and 3 in Knuckles. And we're on CD. <laughs> Thank god you could do the food emote again. <laughs> Has everybody seen that commercial? 
that the, that the mode is based on. <laughs> it's Sonic related. But pause, I'll be back in a sec. I sent you the link, Dot. <laughs> what the? Uh. Uh. What? What? <laughs> what the heck? What? I'm out of here. <laughs> it just stopped. We didn't even get to hear the song. I didn't even get to go, In the end, who's on your side? Who can't you trust in the middle of the night? You can trust me. I can see in the dark. Kind of. <laughs> Will it happen again? Hey, Bogums! Who's on your side? You can trust in the middle of the night. Who will you be if you can't find you? There's no place to go. Nothing to do. Gotta do something. Gotta do something. <laughs> ah. Change it like you are, keep it all the same. Long in your life, don't mind, and don't forget that if you gotta do something, you gotta do something. Believe in yourself, yourself, yourself. <laughs> your cat leads you to to where the food is in the dark. You feel time. Look at yourself. Inside your heart, you will find a special place to unwind. When you feel tight, look at yourself. Inside your mind, you will see cosmic eternity. I 
love this song, what can I say? your heart you will find a special place to unwind when you feel right look at yourself inside your mind you will see cosmic eternity <laughs> the captions are just like you will see a good day like what what <laughs> sure Here we are, Sonic 2. Here we go. Whoops. Better just hit the spring. Ugh. So fast. I know a lot of people really love Sonic 2. It's understandable, it's a good game. I'll never get over how my palette mod didn't quite get some parts right for this particular act. <laughs> anyway, Sonic 2 is just an interesting game. Like, did you know it was gonna be like twice as long as it ended up being? And I feel like that's just too much game, because the game already feels slightly too long to me, personally. Oh, I use a palette and song mod for Act 2, just to break up the tedium a bit. But the gameplay is still the same. Just like how in Sonic CD, I use both soundtracks, and it alternates. Sonic 3 and Knuckles should be the upper limit on how long a 2D Sonic should be. Yeah, but also Mania reaches that and drags. Like, I like Mania, but dang. Hey Deep Shock, how you doing? See, this looks normal, and then Act 2 has different colors and a remixed song. That's how it goes. Yeah. I always feel like you could cut two zones from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and it would still feel like a very good game. I don't think that it gains that much from being that long. And for me, Mania is just right out, because Mania has like a... Mania has, like, three endgame stages in it. Which two? Hmm. I think... I think I would cut... Probably... Man, it's actually tough to decide which ones I would cut if I were cutting three and Knuckles. I feel like I would cut... Either Sandopolis or Flying Battery, not both. And. Hmm.
either cut Marble Zone or make Death Egg just the boss fight. I like how chat is saying Carnival Night, which makes sense, but... Never been the biggest fan of Lava Beef? Wow, I'm surprised. I think most people like uh, Lava Reef, but then again, I just really love Lava Reef's music. It's one of my favorite Sonic songs. How are you doing, Blues? Okay, Flame Chocobo. I have one word for you. Barrel. No, don't roll. If you roll, this part doesn't work. There we go. <laughs> Safe. wrong though, even though I'm saying that I feel like Sonic 3 and Knuckles is a little too long, and I do believe that, I think that game's incredible in the fact that it had so much ambition, and in the end they only cut one zone. One that was cut early in development. Whereas Sonic 2, they had just as big of plans, but they ended up cutting over half of the, of the game. Yeah, there, there was going to be time travel in Sonic 2. It was part of the plans. It wouldn't be the way that it is in Sonic CD, though. It was more that you would travel through time as part of like the progression of the story and end up in zones that suit that. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't mean to go underwater. It would be faster to just die. Than to deal with the underwater section. Oh no! Anyway, so like, you would end up going to the past or future versions of places you had been, and you would travel between places in antiquity and places that are clearly future factories and things like that. That was how they planned it. Uh oh. Well, this part is not as bad as the other parts that I could have ended up in, but still not great. I don't like it. Going underwater in this zone is something I try to avoid very strongly. Uh oh. Because they got in the way, that became dangerous.
Eggman's design is kind of cute in the original Sonic games, isn't it? He was also one of the first characters they designed for the game. Potentially, he might have even been the player character in an early stage of development. Like, he was among the list of possibilities. They came up with, uh, like, an idea of, like, nightmare enemies. Something kind of like knights. And so that would have been, like, the big bad and stuff. The nightmares. But then, ultimately, Eggman, his design ended up being revisited. They took off his sleeping cap and stuff that they had put on him. And... We got Eggman. Whoa! I... I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Not my finest hour. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting that one of them ended up in the demo that happened. Everybody wants that fabled build of Sonic 1 just like to see what it was like, because it was probably very different. But the latest conspiracy theory in the Sonic community is that that was never playable and that it was always just a... Like, that they just did video and there was no build. I, I personally don't buy it. That definitely looks like a playable, if very simple, game to me. Even though I'm sure that what they showed may have just been a video. Like, people are these days going, Oh, well, they scrapped all of that and started from scratch. Like, no? Did you, did you look at the file sets? Any of it? But, you know, that's... the Sonic community has always been like this. By the way, these pink colors? During earlier development of Sonic 2, Casino Night was very pink like this. This is just a reference to that. Glitch with this Eggman is entirely my fault. Again, I implemented these Act 2 palettes very sloppily. I made the mod for them myself.
Whoops. Hills, no! I was going along to the music. That rolled. It's always funny. <laughs> Oops, got stuck on the item box. <laughs> Tails, what are you doing? <laughs> Tails? For some reason, my frame rate is chopping. It's funny because it looks fine on the stream, but the actual game is running like crap. Activate Damn, the really? volcanic defense system to shield the base with my lava magma. A bomb. Of all the games for that to happen with. I mean, honestly, I can play Sonic about the same if it's running at 60 oh, no. FPS or like. For some reason, something weird like 15, but... Still rough, you know? And it's funny, because I can look over at OBS and see it be. running better. <laughs> wow. We're going this way. It's not the good road, but it's not the worst. If we can come back from this. There, we came back. Eh, I'll take this route. It's a big maze! Um, um. Yeah, the Game Gear had insane ghosts. I'm better! Like, nothing ghosts like the Game Gear does. On the Analog Pocket, there's actually a video mode for the Game Gear to simulate both the weird, darkened colors and the ghosting. Didn't work. Dark mode didn't work. Yes. Oh, didn't work. Hold on. Hold on. I need to fix that redeem. Why didn't it work? Uh. Huh. Whoops.
I just need to take a look. It's orange for some reason. Why is it orange? I'm going to delete it and remake it. Clicking delete did not work. Uh, let me refresh. We're good. Whoops. That almost went perfectly, but I slid off. I literally have no idea what happened with that redeem, though. It's fixed, I just... I don't know. All I did was refresh the uh, page that I used to power that redeem. Sadly, um... Even though they added toggles to, like, YouTube Studio from Twitch redeems officially, it doesn't work for my palette toggles. It doesn't work for those. It's specifically not a supported use case. Hopefully Denshi will make it support these two, so that I don't have to use anything external. Definitely moving forward though. YouTube Studio always improving. Oops. What a strange route. Where am I? Oh, I'm at the boss. Yeah, Dot, like, even as a kid, it was really obvious how bad the Game Gear screen was. But at the same time, we would then look at our, you know, I would, I would like look at my Game Boy. I'm sure a lot of people did, so I was saying we. And I would be like, well, I guess it's more convenient than this. And I would be half right. And then my batteries would run out because I had been playing for one hour. And I would have to slam six AA batteries into the Game Gear. Eventually, I got the charging pack for it, and that helped. That actually helped charge larger than using double A's. But it took like all day to recharge. Just to be able to play my Game Gear for like four hours instead of one and a half, you know? Which was handy for field trips, though. How long would modern technology power a Game Gear? And I'm not qualified to answer this, but I bet it would be something like uh, 14 hours. Like just as a, at, at a guess, like that sounds right. Realistically, though, I have no freaking clue. Nothing about that plane chocobo. I haven't played it myself.
Come on, Sonic, you can do it. Anyway, dark mode should work from now on. I don't know why it was busted up to now. I had wondered why nobody had dark moded me. <laughs> it's okay, winter is here. I can beat Oil Ocean Zone now. Because that's always when she arrives. This song is so loud, dude! Why did they make it this loud? Carl Bruegman, why did you make the Act 2 songs so loud? Oops, wrong way. Same Neo Zero, big same. I would be playing GG Shinobi, just attached to a wall outlet, you know? What I don't like about this boss is the fact that it can damage you before you can damage it. So when it's first coming up, you have to wait. Whoops. Masumi. 17 months is a long time, isn't it? Ah, my, my ring! Uh-oh. I may actually die here. I am in danger. Okay, okay, we're safe. As long as I don't jump too early. There we go. Sorry, Tails. I put myself at risk there. That could have been very bad. <laughs> Winter! No! Welcome to hell, you say? Hmm. Yes. Yes, Mishi Mishi. Act 3 does get its own mix. Ah. 
They claimed that the reason they added an Act 3 was so they could reuse stuff that was cut from Cyber City Zone, also known early in development as Genocide City Zone. But uh, since then, we've actually gotten all of the art assets and level layouts of Cyber City. And the Act 3 Metropolis layout not only does not appear, there's nothing that resembles it. <laughs> so, it just reminds you that developer memory is sometimes a very fickle thing for games that old. And they were likely asked leading questions anyway, because that's always been a problem in the Sonic community. They'll ask developers something they suspect in a very pointed way, so that the developers are more likely to go, you know what, yeah, that sounds right. I looked over at the chat and I paused for a moment. <laughs> Some of them are better than others. A couple of the Sonic 1 ones have practically <laughs> practically replaced the originals for me, which unfortunate in a way, but speaks to how some of them are really good. popping off. I'm sorry. Okay, that's act two. What happened to Tails? I 
like this arrangement it is partially a remix of some popular song by accident. Thank you, Dot. Oh no! <laughs> My shield! <laughs> My one weakness, the very tip of my toe. This is Sonic 2 Absolute. You can type exclamation point Sonic in chat for more information. Every kid hated starfish if they played this game. For some reason, I was trying to avoid getting hit. But, like, this boss goes faster if you just let it hit you. All those bald eagles. Christmas music. I never have a lot to say in this zone, aside for reminding people that the badniks in this zone were designed for a deep ocean level that was cut from the game during early development. And that we know this because of the design documents for that level. In general, you can tell that the last three zones were last-minute additions made mostly from chemical plant assets and other reuse of stuff that they didn't have, you know, a use for earlier. This badnik drives me mad. It is so hard to hit this badnik. I'm interested in this.
Anyways. Wing Fortress. It's Star Wars music, you know? Star Wars is opening. It's telling you all about the Rebels. I love how ActRaiser's ending music is just like the, the 20th Century Fox music. <laughs> But you know, this also resembles, but... <laughs> Yuzo Koshiro definitely didn't, didn't care at all about whatever he would lift at any time. He stole so much music, and he is so iconic. Her. He is one of the musicians I highly, highly respect. So that nobody turns into that one chatter one day that got really upset at me and started going on about the scene when I said that Yuzo Koshiro had taken music. <laughs> I was basically acting like I wouldn't understand because I'm not a musician. Or something. Which, you know, spoiler alert! <laughs> oh, there goes my ring. I might die. All of my times are slow today. I don't mind, but... I guess I really am rusty. Like, I looked over and realized that it was a red split now. Oh, darn. Man. It looks surreal in widescreen, yeah. A lot of this stuff isn't well adapted for widescreen. Funny enough, you can t you can generally play these ports in 4-3 if you care to, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to set them up for it. And a lot of, like, the menus will not really account for it properly, even though the gameplay will. But I feel, you know, if you're going to play it in 4.3, you may as well just play the original versions. This scene takes so long. The game crashed? I do not like having to do this. It's not my fault.
<laughs> it hurt when I said about Koshio. <laughs> Yeah, I got very upset about the music scene of the 90s. There's no particular reason that I position so specifically. It does not actually help me in any way. It is just my preference. Everybody's favorite boss fight, right? Uh. <laughs> Pause. And I will be back momentarily. I wonder if this is still glitched. Nah, it's fine. Also, he's supersonic because <laughs> this is from my save file. And two games have crashed today, and my last stream ended in a blue screen. A little concerning. Last time I was streaming Resident Evil 2 Remake, and I had gotten to Kendo's gun shop, and in the middle of the cutscene there, the game just... It, everything just stopped, and I was like, what? I did... damn, blue screen. Makes sense that you would fit in there, Dot. I, I get that. It's it's basically Metropolis Zone in there, right? My the inside of my computer case is basically Metropolis Zone.
All of my times are just a little slow today, except for Sonic 1, which was really slow. Final zone went really poorly there. He sure did. And he would go on to work on Sonic's ass, the game, as they call it. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot. It's a term they use during the development of the game, not even kidding. They understood what they were making, exactly. Sonic 3. Said that like it was guile or something. Sega. Oh, right, it's still in delete mode. I think East came out the year I was born. Which is funny, right? <laughs> oh, right, because I'm always 21. Yeah, did the East come out in, in 1987? I feel like it did. Maybe it was earlier than that, and I'm mistaken. I think 1989 is East 1 and 2, yeah. I, I fell for it again. Yeah, I was right. East 1 came out in 1987 originally. You guys are just gonna have to take my word for it that I am cracked at Blue Spheres. Maybe one of my mods can find the clip. <laughs> yeah, get blue balls! I still love that that's on the back of an official notebook. Oh, 
Whoops. Oh no! You know, I could be streaming in HEVC. I just decided I wouldn't reevaluate anything about my stream until I was certain that my like router issues has been solved with a new router. And they basically are, aside from an issue where sometimes if the router crashes on rare occasion, uh, the wireless will be down unless I unplug it for at least 10 seconds. Which, you know, they always say you have to do that if you power cycle something like that. But, uh, normally it doesn't actually matter. Normally, two seconds is enough. But... No, it has to be unplugged for the full 10 seconds or on reboot, the router's wireless will just be gone. And I use the wireless for my, my VTubing... for VT, VTS. <laughs> that could have been disastrous, did you see that? I accidentally mashed the button again. Going well, self made man. How are you? <laughs> oh, yeah, the waterfall goes into the bitrate dimension every time. So, I'll tell you the fact again. That I always tell. This is fake water. Sonic is normal palette. He's not actually in water. Just so this effect can happen. It's the entire reason you start in fake water. And then you end up in real water. Thank you for the follow. Food. played Sonic CD for the first time today? Did you like it? It's okay if you didn't. I know that Sonic CD is kind of more of an acquired taste, but you loved it? <laughs> I am glad to hear that. Like, I know I just put a bunch of qualifiers on it, but I think Sonic CD works, and I'm not afraid to say it. I just know it's not for most people. My stance will almost be Sonic CD is misunderstood. Because it's a different kind of game. Oh my gosh, thank you, Anonymous, for the 10 gift subs. Wow. Or probably more the parodious wow, right? The problem is, if you ever get to the point where you have to talk about something you like and, like, you feel that you have to go, like, well, I know this game sucks, but I like it. Like, that's when it's really not good. You, sh you should never do that. If you like something, don't let yourself get poisoned by the way people feel about it. You can qualify it, but don't insult it. You get me? Here is my favorite Sonic song. Yeah, 
Tails. Tails. I'm sorry, Tails. Werehog. So, my problem with the Werehog isn't the Werehog. You know what my problem with the Werehog is? The battle music. You shouldn't compose all these really long night stage themes, and then the player gets to hear 10 seconds of it sometimes, and never any other time because the battle music's always playing. Granted, I don't think I would be upset about that either if there were different battle songs for every night stage. You know? And that's not the were that's not the Werehog's fault. Thank you, Anonymous, for gifting us subs. Oh my god, so many gift subs. <laughs> Thank you guys for appreciating me so much. I appreciate you too. That's true, that's true. I was made aware of that last stream, I think. But then I forgot. So... Does anyone like the Sonic 3 invincibility music? Anybody a big fan of it? Thank you for the 16 bits, Firehawk. You like this not. <laughs> exactly. Now, which would you rather? The Sonic 3 invincibility music or the Sonic and Knuckles invincibility music? My opinion is they're both awful. <laughs> the Sonic and Knuckles music is even shorter than this, which is saying something. You guys know I like the Sonic 1 and 2 invincibility music. I'm usually, like, humming along to it whenever it comes up, right? <laughs> Donate your fave Final Fantasy. Donate it $7. <laughs> Thank you. CD's invincibility music is good. I like it. Shorter loop. So if you want another strange fact, the invincibility lasting times are slightly different between Sonic CD US and Japan because they sync it to how long the music is, for some reason. And the music is not quite the exact same length. What do I think about the Sonic Jam version? It's fine. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Dan. I didn't even realize there was a hype train now. Makes sense, though. Marble Garden Zone. How do I count to tactic? How do I count to tactics? Donated 420. Sonic 4 boss music? 
Fusion was originally really set on that being the boss music for Sonic 3D Blast. I presume it got repeatedly rejected because he changed it up like several times and still ended up replacing it in the end. It's just a it's just a rejected 3D Blast song. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> Ow. Yep, I am into classic games. Oh, I still didn't get you missed. Instead, I got that. <laughs> Man, I want you missed so bad, dude. I got fall damage, though. Fall damage is... <laughs> Kicka Boots donated $12. This is for Dissidia Duodecum, to be clear. <laughs> Space War. <laughs> wow. That'll do it. You miss the you miss a hype train because of that? Oh. Your PC is not optimized for PayPal loading quickly enough. That's... You're not PayPal maxing. You got a PAL max. Man, I feel like a badass every time I nail that shortcut. I don't have rings, this is bad. There. Hey, Inti, I see. I see. I prefer pay second, actually. Looks like me and... Self-made had the same brain cell that time. Thanks, Tails. For once. Approximately as old as the Sonic series?
Anyway, why don't we stop talking about how old we are? Do you guys like grapes? The occasional grab. Grab the known singular of grape. Grapes are too self-indulgent, you just eat an entire bag of sour candy instead. Mm. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Imagine having to struggle with that boss fight. SMH can't relate. When I was talking about what zones I would cut from Sonic 3, I didn't mention Carnival Night, but all of chat was mentioning it. It was the one everyone in chat basically was mentioning, aside for a couple people. <laughs> I think one person said they didn't remember Carnival Night. But you know, I also repress memories sometimes. <laughs> Game bun. Ah, goodbye, good music. You can't use your shield when you're invincible, by the way. It actually slowed me down to take that invincibility. I shouldn't have. <laughs> Speaking of repressing memories, I see uh, Dan talking about some of his memories of Carnival Night Zone. <laughs> Memories from not so long ago. Only a simple memory will remain. pattern.
Here we go again. Well, Zelnu, you would never forget the water if you could only see while you're underwater. Why do I say this? No reason. I still sincerely love Cursed Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Because it's so... impressively crafted. Main Memory made it so carefully. Yeah, it is funny. But remember, Flying Battery was originally going to be in the Sonic 3 half. And in fact, basically everything but the... what the... everything but the graphics is still like, in the Sonic 3 ROM. You see, Millennial, they actually got ahead in the numbering. They made a Sonic 2 that was just all original, and then they made Sonic 3 based on Sonic 2, the movie. See? See, it all makes sense. kind of lame, but... I have to make a bad joke occasionally, or I can't make any good jokes. There's sort of a yin and yang thing going on there. Take it easy, Borb. It didn't work! Honestly, my take has been that anything that doesn't look ancient was built by Eggman. I feel like Gerald's journal from Shadow Generations may actually touch on this. Since he visited it before Eggman did. Before, you know, his... for his grandson. Clownness. I just smacked myself in the glasses because there was there was some sort of mosquito or something. Sonic X Shadow is 30 bucks most places. 
Anybody who doesn't have it should get it. That game actually owns Shadow Generations, anyway. Sonic Generations is, well, it's still Sonic Generations. I don't think it's a bad game, but it does not compare. Shadow Generations is just so good. You know, Air does change a few level layouts, though. But I have them set to the Sonic 3 and Knuckles layouts. I always try to play as legitimately as I can, even when playing Wii's versions, so to speak. For example, with Sonic CD, I have a mod that I put in there to revert the level layout changes from Miracle Edition. Sonic Generations is good, it's just definitely not as good as Shadow Generations. It's weird. I never thought I'd be able to say stuff like that. The fact that Shadow Generations is so good is... <laughs> I don't even, it's just really, really weird. I just realized these platforms have left and right arrows on them to show that you can push them. I only just now realized that for the first time. Thank you, Neo Zero, for the $25. I really appreciate it. There is no Final Fantasy 25. <laughs> and now the circle boss again. The swirling circle boss again. We're on the lower route. Interrupted by one up. It's not weird to like music even if you're mostly deaf. I mean, what do you think Def Jam is all about? Joke aside, you know, I'm mostly deaf in one ear these days myself, so I get it. Because, like, I'm a musician. Music is my passion, but... You just gotta make do with what you have, no matter what you like. Was Beethoven weird? 
Yes, but in like a really cool way. Thank you for resubscribing, Ams. 20 months, huh? Yeah, I'm always surprised when... I, I'm, I'm often surprised the same time the others are by... Wait, when did this sub run out? Like, earlier Dot uh, was, like, gifted a sub or something, I think, and, uh... I remember Dot getting, like, a one-year sub to the channel, so... I was like, wait, that's already passed? I do not like this invincibility music ever. <laughs> you see me turn around there just so I could roll correctly? <laughs> it doesn't actually matter that much. I couldn't I couldn't handle it if launch base didn't have the go go go, you know? I love that. Go, voice clip. I wish I remembered what sample CD it was from so I could get a hold of it. I'd like to use it. I can ask my sister, but we don't talk too much these days. She's used it in a bunch of stuff. I wish I could talk to her more. Anyway, uh, launch base. Knuckles music playing for an extended period of time there.
Uh... Okay, I guess I'm going this way. last time in the run that we hear this song. Thank goodness for that, right? Thank go. Unfortunately, though, the Sonic 3 and Knuckles version may be worse. It's even shorter. Of a loop. very well in this situation, Aya. <laughs> That's a great typo. Ow. So much harder without Insta Shield. <laughs> what was his plan? I got thrown off by the song stopping, you know? Okay. Heck yeah, big, yeah, big arms time. This is one of the coolest classic Sonic bosses, in my opinion. And yes, I hit him while he was on the ground. Millennial, I'm just glad that basically every version since was smart enough to not do that and to bring it back. Removing the boss for Sonic and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I mean. Hmm. 
You've been Sonic Oranges. Yeah. Sonic Grapes would just be a game about Knuckles, but he's not, like, fighting Eggman. He's... The supermarket was out of grapes, and Knuckles is looking for some. It's his favorite food, you know. Not lying. hunting but for grapes. <laughs> I like that. Ah yeah, my take is he knows how to purchase stuff, but he doesn't know how to do the math for what things cost. So whenever he wants to buy something, he just shoves all of his money into the cashier's hand and lets them figure it out. And the, the very first time that they tried to hand some of the money back to him, he was very confused. And a little angry. Because he felt disrespected. That's that's my headcanon. Does that sound about right? It's like, Knuckles is not as stupid in actuality as he is in Boom. He's just a little... unadjusted? Although, I guess movie Knuckles kind of is like halfway between canon Knuckles and Boom Knuckles. <laughs> when I think about it. There's that. <laughs> Pure of heart, dumb of ass. <laughs> boom is only canon to boom. It's the only, uh, it's, it's one of the only games that isn't mentioned in Frontiers and thus not canon. Outside of, like... I think sticks might be mentioned, but... Basically, it's not mentioned otherwise. I think that's what it is. I think it mentioned sticks once. Furry Bell Gribble. Man, I really like King of the Hill. Did you know that? You probably didn't know that. I've never really mentioned it. I rewatch all of King of the Hill like once a year. You're thinking of Marine Yoshi, who is basically just sticks, but a slightly different kind of animal. Pocket sand is a sound redeem? I actually like that. I might do that. Yes, all of it. Yeah, there is a uh, new this King is like of the Hill. taking candy from a baby. Which is fine by me. Coming up pretty soon, like early to early 2025 or something. And yeah, Bobby's grown up. He works at a restaurant, if I've understood, as a chef.
the die buster of King of the Hill. <laughs> I don't think that combination of words has ever been uttered or written by anyone before, Baydog. Good job. Do I look like I know what a die buster is? <laughs> I can't do the Hank accent, but I do a Western accent. Southern. <laughs> Western, like it's in a Western. I do a Southern accent regardless, because it's actually like my native accent. <laughs> Grew up with a Southern accent and stopped using it because my best friend would make fun of me. He would make fun of the way I would say figure instead of figure and things like that. Which, you know, a little mean-spirited, but I, I like the guy and, uh... In hindsight, like, I'm happier to be talking this way than I would be to talk be talking like this all the time, you know? <laughs> And then that's it. That's the whole loop. You don't... It's not worth being ashamed of an accent. Like, there's nothing shameful about having an accent. It's just that, uh... I'm happier with the general American accent, you know? Especially considering I'm in, like, entertainment like this. It makes sense to me. And you can still hear a bit of it in, like, the ways I say it or, um... Sometimes I'll say can instead of can, kind of. You know, stuff like that. Minor stuff. There's still signs of my upbringing. I just... I'm happier with how I sound these days overall. Don't forget to say wash instead of wash, which they is what they do in specific parts of West Virginia and like Ohio and Pennsylvania and nowhere else. <laughs> Sometimes people will tell me that I made that up and that that's not a real thing. <laughs> so thank you for the validation there, Dan. How do you say my name? You say it correctly now. No further questions. You stopped saying it that way, so it's fine. <laughs> I killed Tails! Sour Lenny.
pod lords such as Sour Lee. Suzu Kuro. I <laughs> say as I get dark moded. The Night Lords. Oh crap, I missed my boat. Do you guys like Dark Mode? Is it a good redeem? Should be the default, I see. You can, in fact, damage this boss, by the way, but not if you're Sonic, unless you have the electric shield. It just makes it go by faster. As they say where I'm from. Oh no! I'll hydrate once I get to the the thing with the with the stuff. You know? Thanks, Tails. I missed. If I need to know if someone's got me, I know that Tails has got me. Grappling sections usually slows you down, but that particular one I think is fine. Chef's kiss. Half a year ago or something, I think grappling sections were just plain missing. For some reason, like, the, the things just plain weren't there.
Yeah, the great zipline shortage. That's the thing that happened. <laughs> I am the one who necks. Oh no. Oh no. I'm, I'm gonna have to go in here to go through here. Okay, I, I guess I deserved that becoming a clip. <laughs> ah. Extremely audible gasp. There's so much green in the background, but not really in the zone itself, right? Why are all those pyramids green, but this one isn't? What the? What the hell? Is that what chaos control is? <gasps> what was that? You all saw it. You're all witnesses. The first Beat Mania song I ever played was Beginning of Life, and it's just a very simple, very simple drum and bass type tune that's occasionally saying darkness. And I think of that when I get into this zone, I think darkness.
checking out to see. I, uh, I wasn't really thinking that this was being, like, a legal affair, you know? Because, like, think about who you're talking to here. I'm the leader of the Nyafia. So, so I'm thinking you may as want to be a bit more aware. The DK rap, but it's about me and a bunch of other VTubers. That kind of sounds like something else, you know? But, uh, I guess whoever runs it, they... they must have balls. I like that, Jackie. You know, during the development of this outfit and the blob cat and everything, Ray was saying, wait, maybe maybe I should change this? It kind of looks too much like a pirate. And then I sent Ray a picture of Goro Majima and said, I, no, it's perfect. And he was just like, oh. Literally, Ray thought that he had made it look too much like a pirate. You're not wrong, Majima is going to be a pirate now, but... Man, Roto, I feel like we just got to spend a couple months just catching up on Yakuza or something. We're so behind. There is a ton of Yakuza, but Roto and I have experienced like half of it. Which, you know, is a lot. <laughs> the thing is, you don't really need to play all of them. It's just all there if you want to play all of them, but they specifically made, like, Judgment and Like a Dragon you know, Yakuza 7, as good entry points. Like, that was the point.
Trails pretended to do that for a while. And then it basically went, ha, psych! And now you need to have played every single Trails game to understand the new ones again. But that's a lot of games with a lot of hours. Carefully positioning to hit a button that I already hit, right? Oops. I jumped a moment too early. <sighs> Lost my lightning shield from that. Tails, give me another lightning shield. Okay, I'll take a fire shield. Never mind. seen the um, Yakuza film. Who has seen that? It obviously had some problems and some character inconsistencies, but I think it was a lot of fun and the shotgun scene rules. There was only one. You might be thinking of the stage play. Or you might be thinking of the uh, Black Panther series. Oh, the prequel short film is... I don't consider that a separate thing because it was just created as promotional material for the film itself and uh, was included on like the home release and everything. It's basically just stuff they cut out of the movie so that they could use it as promotional material instead. You know? Yeah, I meant the actual film, if we're going by those standards. I was counting on the balance. Ah. Sometimes you can get two hits in very narrowly. Of 
Or, of course, you can just stay close to it and bounce, but where's the fun in that? Bitrate dimension? I bet it's less so than the waterfall, though. That waterfall murders the stream. Like, the, you know, the lava fall is somehow handled better, even though red is a difficult color to encode properly. Yeah, you can't just spin dash and damage the hand like you can with the Death Egg Robo version. Well, you know, the final fight version. It's the Death Egg Robo either way. I start meowing along with music, I just think, why do people watch me? <laughs> I've always really liked how Lava Reef 2 looks. Yeah, I know you guys are here for it. I just, I'm... <laughs> Honestly, I'm just so blessed that that I can do stupid stuff like that here on Twitch.tv and people actually are like, yeah, I want to watch that. I don't... I'm, I'm not going to go over and watch, like, uh, something on HBO or something. I want to watch Sara Lene meow along the music, right? I'm getting emotional, I'm sorry. <laughs> There goes my flame shield. What are you doing? He was doing some sort of dance up there. Some sort of satanic ritual. No! I bet you guys eyeballing that were like, can't she get out? Like, it looks close, right? Make that jump. Hello, Valley. How are you?
<sighs> now for the actual worst boss. Blue Spy. Blue Spy? Blue Sky has been good to me so far. Blue Spy. Yeah, Yoshi, I wasn't gonna say anything. I wasn't gonna say it. Chaya, if you're experiencing toxicity, toxic, toxicity on Blue Sky, just block and move on, honestly. There is no reason to engage. And the block is very powerful on Blue Sky. <laughs> Jackie! <laughs> you're right, Jackie, you're right. it would be Knuckles that would bug out. <laughs> he doesn't understand gravity, so he fails to be controlled by it. <laughs> For the 1680. That's. Thank you, I really appreciate it. It's good to see you, critic. I'm, I'm humbled. People have been donating today. You made it up to $100. I just feel a little nervous because, you know, eventually this is just going to straight up be my job. And I'm not going to have any other way to pay rent. But... I know I have a wonderful community. I 
Hi, are you building it so you can have Knuckles and Amy? This is the wrong way. This is not a shortcut. shield didn't go off. Yeah, Miracle Edition is worth it. Like, there's a lot of features of Miracle Edition that I do not use that you might find useful. That many people might find useful. I am always trying to keep it close to the vanilla experience in terms of like gameplay, but it does a lot of cool stuff that enhance the game, plus, you know, the improved time travel that was that somebody came up with ages ago that is obviously better. It's just not uh authentic. That's the word that was stuck in my head. What And this, of course, is just, you know, the Sonic 2 death egg fight that I'm handling very poorly because I'm being reckless. Oh well. go. Final zone. I'm eager to finish up and get some food. I just got Charlie Brown rug gold. Football pool. turkey once in my life and it wasn't Thanksgiving turkey. It's a long story, don't worry about it.
serves me right for getting trying to get by a different way this time, huh? Trying a different technique. Never, not even once. Yeah, only this one will murder you. This is easily one of the more dangerous bosses. <laughs> Thank you for gifting this up to Aya. I really appreciate you. Ow! I know people who watched last marathon are just looking at me trying to do this like, Oh, not this again. Oh well. Yeah, like, you ever notice that after you've destroyed that thing, the Death Egg has no background anymore? So it's like you're going through remaining scaffolding and stuff? Die. This checkpoint is pretty mean, too. to say in these parts of the run. As you know, it's always been four hours of really intense gaming by now. 
Because anybody who tells you this game or any of the Sonic games of this era are easy, they're lying. They've played it too many times. These are hard games, and they are very demanding of a person. You just may not be as aware of it if you've done it a million times. They're very attention-high games, with a lot of input precision involved at all times. But nah, some guy on Game FAQ said that you just hold right to win, so they're easy, actually. I mean, there's only two speeds, you know? Oh damn, this guy's getting wrecked. Okay, Tells, you gotta behave this time, alright? Too early. Almost too late. There we go. He behaved enough. I'd like to remind you all, it is very possible to die in this part. Even if you hold right the entire time, if you attack Eggman at the wrong time, you will not outrun the platform and you will die.
Ah. Ah. I'm sorry? Fifteen minutes? What? What? What in the goddamn? Fifteen minutes? How? I died like three times. Wow! This is like taking candy from a baby, which is that fine by me. Chaos Ew. control is. <laughs> thank you, Instigator, and thank you for resubscribing. I'm sorry. How? How could I possibly have cut 15 minutes off of a game? What? Fast and way too fast. What? It's like, oh no, I, I did badly on the first three games. There's no way I'm gonna PB. And then whatever the hell that was happened. I never really register that I'm good at something until I hear like another streamer talking about it on their stream. <laughs> and like one day, like Dot was talking about how good I am at Sonic. She was saying I was cracked at the game, like while she was streaming it. And I was like, wait, am I? Does anybody else just like that? Is there a chance I hit the button at the wrong time? No. There is no chance. Because that button is really far from me. It is not on my keyboard. It wasn't rude. Uh, it's a good question to ask. Honestly, I could probably do it with this many rings, but it would be better to be safe rather than sorry. Better safe than Sara. People are always saying this. Uh oh. Rings are running lowish now. They just keep not finding them. supposed to be like up here. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the 100 bits. Screw it, we ball.
so you really didn't need all those rings. I just went for it anyway. appreciating me. I do remember me, right? <laughs> in, in my defense, like, look at those first three games. Look at Sonic 1, CD, and 2. I was slow on all of them. And then, god damn! <laughs> Off we go. I hope no one else goes after this emerald. But nah, that would never happen. Man, captions don't understand the word nuts? Huh. What happened, Hulk? as well have just ordered from Amazon, huh? Woof. I'm sorry. Preview window suddenly on. Well, you all know what time it is. It's time for me to hopefully be fed for once, but let's face it, I've never been fed. This probably won't be an exception. Even so, we are going to go on a raid to Eltrioc. 
my friend Eltriak, who is streaming. You know what they oh, say, oh, the more with my the moderator merrier. and friend Adam Admar. So go say hello to them. They're both they're both Sara approved individuals. Um I will see you next time. I gotta eat. I really gotta eat. I really appreciate you all. I love streaming. I love this community. Thank you. <laughs>